Hi, Madeline from Sonic Bloom here. Today I want to show you all the new shortcuts that come with Life 10. And if you've been following my videos and tutorials in general, you already know that I'm big on workflow and shortcuts can help so much with that. So I'm going to show you all the new shortcuts now and I'm going to start with the ones just that just require one key. The first one is showing or hiding the automation lanes, which is A. And the next one is M, which activates or deactivates the computer MIDI keyboard. That's no longer activated by default uh, because with the new keys that are assigned, that wouldn't be useful. So M to turn it on or off. The next one is the key R, which is for reversing. So you can simply select a certain part of the clip, press reverse, and that part will be reversed and basically split as well. I'm going to undo this. And then next we have show or hide all tracks, which is S. So hidden. Unfortunately, the showing doesn't work for me right now. Hopefully that will not lo no longer be the case once uh, Life 10 is out of the beta. And the last one is zooming. So for example, I can just highlight th this part again and then press Z and it'll zoom in there. And if I want to zoom back out, I simply use the shift key and Z to zoom back out. Next up, we have a few keys assigned to um, work with the collections in the browser. So now I could just take this preset and label it um, red or favorites. And that would be number one, so key one. If I want to take it out, I can press one again. Um, then two is for orange, three is for yellow, four is for green, five blue, six purple, and seven for gray. And if I have some chosen and I want to reset all of them, I can simply press the zero key and it'll be gone again. Next up, we have the loop brace. That isn't the new command. So make a selection and command L or control L on Windows. We'll turn on the loop. And now let me do that again. It'll turn it off. The only thing where it doesn't work is if I turn it on, switch the session view for mixing, per for example, whatever. And I want to do Command L. It won't work, so I'm going to have to go back to the arrangement view to turn it off again. And now you can also choose Command Control F just on Mac to go to full screen mode or out of it again. And the following commands are all just for the arrangement view. So the first one is I can choose a select a clip and then use the arrow keys to move the clip left or right. And if I don't want the grid snapping, I can momentarily turn that off with Command on Mac and Alt on Windows. 
and then I can just move it like that. And if I hold the shift key while I drag the border of a warped audio clip, then I can stretch or shrink it. Of course, both ends work. And we could to uh, toggle grid snapping off again with command on Mac or Alt on Windows. And then if I turn on the automation, and if I hold the shift key there and move a breakpoint or a segment, I'm going to choose a breakpoint right now, I can lock it either horizontally or vertically. So right now, here, I can move it further to left or right, and the DB doesn't change in this part, this uh, case, because it's a gain. And if I press Alt and Shift, no wait, I have to turn the automation off first. Alt and Shift on Mac or Control and Shift on Windows. And I drag the lower part of the clip. So here when you see the little hand, And I can slide the content of the clip, or as you can see below, what it actually does is it moves the loop braces of the clip. And of course, grid snapping can be toggled off there again as well. There are also supposed to be um, new trackpad or mouse wheel features or gestures um, but to be honest they're not currently working for me so I'm hoping those would be working in the full version as well because it's a lot of zooming stuff and that would be very cool if that worked um, but yeah quite a lot of new shortcuts and um, I hope you found this helpful and we'll include them into your workflow and I'll see you next time bye